Just so you know, I yeah. always wear black because I'm so clumsy. I spill coffee on me all the time, and that's really? the reason. Honestly, well, wow. that's the reason I always wear black when I'm out because I know I'm going to spill something. Wow. On. Does it feel like your life, your recent life, has been kind of shown to us as a series of TV programs? Yeah, and uh, you know, I don't regret any of it because I think that you know, you, this is this is what life's all about. You, you, if you want to get into an industry, you take everything that comes with it. And I loved, I loved. That roller coaster, I did. I loved the fact that we were so open about things, and you know, we didn't get into any of the editing, so there were things that maybe we'd cringe at that we would see. But you look back at it as a whole picture, and it's you know. It's Do you days. know Johnny didn't brush his teeth for two weeks? I I remember that. No, the day before he left, I wow. think it was about seven days, eight days. Yeah. I don't know when he left. Yeah. And I said to him, I said, mate, have you brushed your teeth? And he said to me, no. He goes. What do I need to brush my teeth for? That's, um, he said something like it's... Bourgeois. Society's <laughs> bollocks for society or something. And... Yeah. And he wore the same undies, eh? For two... Oh, my eight God. Days. <laughs> How many couples have you seen that are in the industry that aren't... That it doesn't work? One of mm. them's known, the other one isn't. Mm. A lot of times, most times, um, unless you're both, like, A-list Hollywood actors, it doesn't normally work. Mm. Um... And I didn't, I didn't really think of anything, but I just, you fall in love, you fall in love. You don't, you don't think of anything, mm. really. And we always worked it on the basis that they're not allowed any edit. Wow. Yeah? yeah. And um, I always said it's a reality show, so it's got to be bloody reality. And if you, and, you mm. know what I mean, if you don't want it in, then don't do it. Yeah? And <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, though. The thing is, right, I actually appreciated that because... If you notice on that 90-minute special, um, my brother Michael told me how it is. Yeah. My manager Claire told me how it is. Neville told me how it is. Now, I could have said, well, and I did say, well, you know, why are you picking on me to my brother? Why? Why? Mm. But he said what everyone really wanted to say to me. Anyone watching that was, felt like saying, just snap out of it. Mm. Get on with it. Mm. So I need that. I think it, it keeps you humble. I think it keeps you grounded because you can easily like Neville said you can easily get big headed in this industry and one of the things I think that's helped me um, stay well not get big headed I, I hope mm. is because of the people around me I really believe that mm. and I take it I might not agree with it at that moment but afterwards I'll go back and I'll think they're right mm. in the special there's a really interesting moment where you just watched Cage's interview with Piers Morgan on ITV yeah. and you yes. talk about it and I thought the incredible thing about that was you do have a, you get quite angry and you have a go at her for doing it and what she says about the miscarriage and mm. all of that and you get quite angry. And you're kind of accusing her of talking about your secret stuff on TV and yet you're saying it to 1.8 million people yes. on ITV too. Yes, that's very true. We didn't know it was 1.8 when we did it though, did we? <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually have an answer for that. That's very yeah. good. You're a pretty good journalist. Thank you. I like yeah. you. Um, the thing is... Um, Yes, but I know there was five or so million watching that show. And I was, I was upset because there's certain things, even though our life was overexposed, there's certain things you just don't talk about. Yeah. It, believe it or not, there are still things that are private. And um, I was upset because mm. there were, I mentioned it on the show, so I don't mind mentioning it again, that I said what upset me was that there were other times we'd lost babies where it was total devastation. And what really hurt me was why all of a sudden... Mm you know, this is brought up as if to say that happened and then he left. And I, I was like, hold on a minute. And why we were worried, why we were worried before the show came out was because I thought, what, what could she come up with? Mm. What, mm. what could she possibly say? Because I was trying to think, what did I do wrong? Mm. I was trying to think. Mm. And when that came out, just... But anyway, um, I think you learn, you learn from things. Mm. <laughs> I think that... Um... The public are interested in the... I think with any, with, even with the young kids in here that, that are actually thinking of getting into TV and whatever, I think the one thing that you need to... The, fun, the thing about TV and media, there is a lot of bullshit in it, yeah? <laughs> and, and you're going to meet lots and lots of people who really talk the biggest load of crap and name drop that you ever heard. But one thing you should always <laughs> remember, if you do a show... As if you do a reality show or any show, you aim, you must know your audience. And if you know your audience, that's where you score. When we get in the edit 
And one of the good things about the commissioner, Claire, that we work with, is that we watch the show like punters, yeah? And that's then, you know what I mean? Then you know what works, you know what I mean? It's not, when we do a reality show, one thing it friggin' ain't, it's not art. Right? Do you know what I mean? He's right. He's right. Yeah.